Now, without actually doing the whole expansion, okay, for a quartic, what could we say? Whoops. Whoa. Got it. According to, we're going to take the same pattern, like make the leading coefficient a. So I've got a x to the four plus b x cubed plus c x squared, all the way down to here. Okay. So here's a general quartic, right? It has five coefficients in here. It should have how many roots? Five. Five, right? So I used alpha, beta, and gamma before. Now I'm going to add back in. I've showed you this before. I'm going to add in four roots. Four. Sorry. Four. Four. I mean, I, I was counting four, and I said five. Anyway, so I've got four roots, right? So what are my relationships going to be? When I add them all up, think about it this way. I'm going to write this first step here, but I'm not going to do any of the expansion. I'll see if you can follow the argument, right? If this thing should be equivalent to A times, let's put the four roots in here. So this is the four linear factors that I should be getting. Delta. If there are four roots, again, Think about, for instance, how am I going to get an alpha at the end here, right? Well, if I get that alpha, it's going to multiply by x, 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 right? So you're going to get an x cubed term. So I'm comparing to this guy, right? To get a beta, there's the beta there. And again, you're going to have to choose the x here and the x here and the x here. Again, you're getting an x cubed. Again, you're comparing to this b coefficient, right? Whatever the second one was, okay? So therefore, without any actual algebraic expansion, um, let's write out the roots and coefficients, those results, for a quartic, it's not hard to follow the pattern. You do the sum one at a time, and it's still, amazingly, minus b on a. You do the sum two at a time. Now, this is a bit trickier, OK? Um, we're going down to 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So this is the next row of Pascal's triangle, right? I've already got this. This is the 4 that's here. That's 4c1. Now I'm doing 4c2, so I should expect six terms. That's how I know I won't have missed any, OK? Help me out. Alpha, alpha beta. I do. I tend to do all the alphas first, so I'll go alpha beta, alpha gamma, alpha delta. Okay. Then I do all the betas next. I've already done alpha beta, so I'll do beta gamma and beta delta. Now look, I've got five. Pascal's triangle tells me I'm only missing one more, which is the gamma delta, the very last pair, right? Um, another way, gamma delta. Um, another way that I can know is you look at how many times you've used each of the roots, okay? How many times have I used alpha? Namely, one, two, three times, right? You can only use it three times because it only has three other things to pair up with. How many times have you used beta? One. One, two, three times because there are only three other things it can pair up with. How many times have you used gamma? Uh, hold on. One, <laughs> two, three. And you can see, I don't need to do delta for you, do you? I've got three as well, okay? Now again, the coefficients are going to go to the next one and the sign is going to alternate. Now we do them three at a time. How many terms am I going to expect? Four of them, because I've gone to the next one in Pascal's triangle. So I'm going to go, this is a bit harder, alpha, beta, gamma. I do all the alphas first, yeah? Alpha, beta, delta. Okay, I'm only missing two more. Someone help me out. Delta. I can do... Um, Beta, gamma. gamma, delta, and I'm missing one last one. Oh, gamma. <coughs> Alpha, gamma, delta. Perfect. Right? Uh, again, I can check how many times have I used alpha? Uh, one, two, three times. How many times have I used beta? One, two, three times. Uh, do you need me to do this? Like you can see. Right? Uh, and the sign alternates, and you go to the next coefficient. Mercifully, the last one is easy to do. The sub Oops, sorry. The sum four at a time, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and it's the sign alternates, and you go to the next coefficient. Done. There are the results for the quartic. Okay. Can we use a different like um? What's it called? Like, you can use letter? any. You can use any letter you like. However, this is the letter that gets yeah. traditionally used, and. Okay. Like, I mean, I think it's worth learning because you will see because it and you need to interpret it. Like I don't like the delta. Yeah, you don't have to use delta. Yeah. Um, when you're multiplying four negative roots together, shouldn't you get a positive number instead of negative here? You're talking about this one. Hold on. Uh, this no, one here? One. Yeah, it's meant to be positive here. Oh, yeah, so it's E on Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah my sign alternated. Okay, great. Any, was that, is that it? Is that the main thing? Yeah? Okay.